2023 general election. As you are all aware, the, the last general election would, came with lots of unexpected challenges that robbed us of victories. These challenges were both internal and external. However, the outcomes of these elections were appropriately challenged by our well-selected legal teams in all the election petition tribunal down to the final court where the final bodies were de delivered. As a law-abiding party, we accepted the body uh, aware of what happened at the courts during this uh, litigation period. However, we must also give kudos to our legal team for their tenacity and professionalism while the case lasted. Let me also congratulate our governors, legislators, both at the state and the federal uh, levels, who were returned by the various election petition tribunals. NEC will also recall that there have been off-cycle elections that have been concluded. The outcome of the off-cycle election in the trial states of Imo, Bielsa and Kogi have come and gone with our party retaining Bielsa. Preparation is also ongoing in Edo and Ondo governorship election. With the support of all concerned, we are confident that soon we will congratulate ourselves. It is no longer news that Nigerians are suffering under the hard and un unfriendly APC-led government. The rate of unemployment, poverty, insecurity is so high that most Nigerians go to bed without food in their tummy. Our farmers can no longer go to farms because of fears of being killed or being kidnapped. Industries are closed down and moving to the neighboring states as a result of unstable power supplies. The enormous power challenges which even come with a cost that is unbearable to add to the hardship of our citizens. Unfavorable government economic policies has bedeviled the younger and even the older generation in this country. We should see this as a challenge so that while we are deliberating today we will focus on how to really grab these challenges that is really facing us every day. There is also a need to constitute a reconciliation committee to unite our aggrieved members, especially those that fell out during the last primaries and also election. It is better late than never. We must as an urgent we must as urgent as possible the position and strengthen the party for effective and constructive opposition, bringing on the table acceptable alternatives of policies and programs in the governance of our dear nation. We must also, as a matter of necessity, bring the concerns of Nigerians to the forefront of the political discourse. To the wrong APC affliction. I want to conclude that it is expected that the decision and outcome of today's NEC meeting will strengthen our party, bring answers to the many questions in the heart of our members, brighten our future and further reposition us for the challenges that is ahead of us. I have no doubt that the only
only party in this country that has that capacity to look inwards, even at time of challenges, is our dear party, the People's Democratic Party. I thank you all for coming to this next meeting. I hope we have a fruitful deliberation. Thank you very much.